Hmm. Interesting. So, been messing around with the G9 and it's continuous autofocus. Um, and one of the knocks against it, and somebody mentioned this in the comments, is that uh, if you're trying to do uh, show products, um, when you hold it up to the camera, the product up to the camera, the G9 will not focus on it, you know, like this. Um, it can be in, it can be inconsistent, um, but I think I may have discovered a way to deal with this. Um, because when you have this camera set to face detect, uh, face and eye detect, it's also possible to, um, and just using touch focus on the screen, to put an additional focus box. And so what I did, and actually what I'm going to do here is I am going to take a screenshot on my phone um, of what that looks like. Because that's what I'm doing here. That's why I had my glasses on because, yeah, I can't see that very well without my readers. Um, so if you put, uh, if you can see in the screenshot, if you put an additional focus box and sort of overlap your face with it, then when you pick something up and put it in front of your face, um, you've enlarged the focusing area because now it's focused. It's got both um, the area of my face, but also that additional focusing box is on my hand. So even this little bar magnet, and you notice I pulled it away, now it's back to focusing on my face. If I do this again, let's see. Yeah, see, it really pops right over to the bar magnet. So if I just take the bar magnet and and I, I don't give it my hand, it's, it's going to have a hard time focusing on that bar magnet. But if I'm holding the bar magnet like this, um, so my hand gives it a bigger target, uh, it works pretty well. So let's go with here is my um, aperture light remote. You control the key light that I have here. And um, same thing, if I put this in here, um, as long as I got that in both the face detect, let's make a light, there we go. As long as I have it in both the face detect box and the additional focusing box pretty much snaps over and it seems to help if I cover my eyes because then the camera is going to have a harder time seeing where my face is. So you know the bigger the the bigger the product um, the easier it is. I mean this uh, this is one hell of a bright flashlight. You want to see some lens flare? Boom. So um, this seems to be the way to do this. I mean, you know, if all you're doing is YouTube reviews, not the camera. I mean, why? Uh, you've got, I think the Sony ZV-1, is it? It has an actual product showcase mode that specifically is for this sort of thing. But I'm not going to buy an extra camera to do YouTube stuff. And plus, I really don't do reviews. Once in a while, I want to hold something up to show people. So this seems to be the way to do it. Um, and uh, if I were doing reviews all the time, I would get something better. But obviously, you can kind of jury-rig this to be able to do it. And then you notice it snaps back pretty darn quickly. You know, if I use another, my G95, not a problem because it's so damn big, covers my head, right? So this whole thing about, oh, well, you know, I, I just had somebody say, well, well the G9 won't, won't switch focus when you're to a new object. Actually, that was the problem that the uh, that firmware 2.4 fixed because it was too willing to change focus. I mean, if you're doing anything that moved, whether it's a bird uh, or a race car or whatever, 
you know, it would lose focus on stuff as you were panning to try and follow that object. So, you know, that's, that's not the case. Um, the smaller the product, the harder it is. You just have to give it a target that is big enough. So just hold it in your hands and, um, you know, it's going to focus on your hand. And uh, I've, this is with uh, the 12 to 35 f2.8 set at f2.8. But it seems like it's doable. Every once in a while, it, it seems to go into this thing where it has has issues, and I haven't figured out what causes it. I, I think it may be if you're. I had it happening when the battery was down to uh, the one quarter mark, so maybe the battery level has something to do with it. Um, but then I've been doing this video, and it's been pretty much. Perfect. Um, so it's weird. Okay, here now here it's losing. It, it took a little, it took its time finding my face again, but it it did do it. So um, yeah, it's a little strange. Uh, yeah, there. It's a little strange. Like I said, you know, if you're doing reviews all the time, don't buy a G9. I mean, the G9 is. Uh, over, and, <laughs> Other than that part, that's overkill. Um, but you can set it up to do that relatively well. Yeah, I don't know why now. Suddenly, boom. Maybe it's my... Uh, yeah, I think I have to have my face pointed up. If I'm looking down, it has a little bit of an issue. So, um, well, anyway, <laughs> fun with, uh, fun with autofocus. Uh, I have no plans on changing camera systems. I like the size. I like the small lenses. I don't want to carry a lot of weight. So if this was helpful to you, hit that like button. And uh, I'm Todd Banner. I'll see you next time.